morning, good morning. Hey, welcome all the new folks and welcome back everybody. I hope everybody in Texas and Louisiana rode out the storm and the hurricane and that you guys are on high ground and safe. Shasta Day said a little prayer for you and your family and loved ones, you guys. All of you who had to evacuate, I hope that your homes are safe and I hope that your family and loved ones are too. Anyway, folks, it's been a heck of a ride with this adding the eggs back. I thought it would be easier, didn't you, Harry? Yeah, I really did. You guys, yesterday I had seven eggs, Harry, total. Is that what I had? I think so. Yeah, seven eggs. Seven eggs. And you guys? I had to look at the big board to see. After breakfast, my nose started getting stuffy. By dinner time, every time I bent down, my nose, I know, TMI, would drip like a dog's nose, huh, now, Harry? Yeah, now see, you had that before, but we didn't know, know what why. it was. And it's, mm -hmm. so you're gonna really my test it today. My sinuses, by the time I went to bed last night, I needed to take a Benadryl. This morning I woke up, I'm all congested. And it's been getting worse as I've been adding the eggs. So, everything that you eat the day before and sometimes two days prior up to that uh, has a direct effect on your weight, water weight gain, your stall, or water weight loss or weight loss. Plain and simple. And as any of you new folks that have joined us, we did an elimination diet. We did our carnivore 30 day challenge and we decided the last two weeks, approximately two weeks, that I was gonna do a total elimination diet and take everything out except for red meat, which is beef, water, black coffee, and my collagen twice a day with a little drops of stevia because there's something that's causing my sinuses to go crazy. There's something that's causing me not to lose the weight. With the amount of calories I'm eating, I should be dropping weight. So we decided to do this. The first thing we added back to my elimination diet was eggs. Started on Sunday, Sunday was fine, Sunday was great, I only added two eggs. Monday, you know, I do have sinus issues, didn't think anything of it, you know. As I have progressed through the week, my sinuses have gotten worse. Yesterday, finally, literally bending my head down, my nose just started dripping. It was just craziness, huh, Harry? Yeah. I said, Harry, look at this. Watch. It's disgusting, but look what's happening. He goes, I wonder if it's the eggs. So let me share what we had to eat yesterday that has a direct effect on what we weigh today. And then I'll explain a little bit more about what I intend to do today as a result of it. So let's go. Okay, isn't this a beautiful board? And we are finally tracking Harry's food for everybody. Yay. What you think you are eating and what you are eating are two separate things. 17 hour fast. Now, up here is where we do our fasting. The lean body mass is me without any fat on it. I weigh 120 pounds. Harry's lean body mass is 133 pounds. You mean right now? No, no, that was... Lean body mass. Skeleton, lean muscle, tissues, organs, all of the things that make you you, if you take off all your fat, that's what you would be, okay? So, I have this up here for a reason. Your protein, okay. is, oh, I, it's my belief only, I am not a doctor. I am not a health practitioner, I'm not a chiropractor, I am not a holistic doctor, I am not a nutritionist. This is an experiment and this is what I feel will work best for Harry and I. Now I have researched, I have read, I have done everything in my power to try to figure this out for myself. So I have this here for a reason because right now I am not ever going to eat protein that goes over 120 grams going forward until I decide it's not working for me or I need to tweak it. So I have this up as a reminder. The same for Harry. 
I have a feeling, and right now Harry and I have discussed this, we have a feeling that we ate too much protein and not enough fat, and that's why our um, carnivore diet, we didn't lose as much weight. And from what I see on a carnivore diet, you should either eat one to one fat to protein ratio or two to one. Two, two grams of fat for every one gram of protein ratio. And then there's more. There's the high fat, low moderate protein approach, which is more keto, because if you're a carnivore full blown, you're not necessarily keto. Because if you're eating a ton of protein, that knocks you out of ketosis. So that's why I have that up there. Friendly reminder. Whoa. Yes. You're gonna have to go into a little more explanation on that one later. Yes, I will. Because that one just kind of blew my yes, mind I right will. there. Yes. And I'm sure it's gonna really like a lot of yes. other people go to, huh? Yep. Remember, Big question ketone, mark. ketogenesis. To stay in ketogenesis, you need a high fat, moderate protein, low carb diet. Okay? Just remember that. So if you're going carnivore, like Harry and I, for our challenge and we want to stay in ketosis, we need to lower our protein and raise our fat because we still want a high fat, moderate protein zero carb diet. Now you're still going to get a few carbs from eggs. They're less than a gram. Okay. So let me share what we had yesterday. I had three fried eggs. Harry had four. I added two ounces of 8515 ground beef. Harry had four ounces of 8515 ground beef and we each had one full measured tablespoon of beef tallow. For dinner, I upped my eggs. I had four fried eggs. Harry had four fried eggs. I had three ounces of chuck steak. Harry had six ounces of chuck steak. We put one ounce of beef tallow all over our steak. It was delicious. Harry had one ounce, uh, one tablespoon of beef tallow and he started adding a tablespoon of butter back to his, okay? Stevia coffee sparkling water, stevia bang, stevia sparkling water. So, my daily total yesterday was zero carbs, and I put less than one for the eggs. I'm not sure exactly what they were, but it's very, very low. I had 68% fat for a total of 92.1 grams. Now, my protein was 32% protein for 98.9. I only ate 1,240 calories yesterday, you guys. Now the eggs would fall under the protein uh, section. Well, right? they're protein, they're one-to-one, -one, protein oh, okay. to fat. So they're exactly one-to-one -one hmm. ratio. Harry had zero carbs. I gave him less than one gram of carb for his fried eggs. Could be more, could be less, but it's less than, you know, it's almost zero carbs. He had 64% fat, so he had a total of 114.1 grams. He had 36% protein. Now look, he went, he had 141.9 grams now of protein. Now does that kind of go? It's, it's more than the BMI. The L what the heck is that? Lean body mass. LBM. Lean body mass. He went above that. Mm. His total calories were 1,621 mm. calories. Interesting. It's interesting. The more you jog and log and track, the more you can see trends. If you don't track and log like Harry has not been doing, you're guesstimating. You're guesstimating, and you can't do that. The more granular you get, the more specific you get, the more you can pinpoint things. So, my sinuses start going crazy. My nose is stuffy. I took Benadryl last night. I did have a good night's sleep. I took Zenzies. I did not take an additional sleep aid, but I took my uh, magnesium. I took a high dose of melatonin and I had my Zenzies and a Benadryl last night. And you guys, I went up four tenths of a pound. I went up on 1,240 calories. So that is water weight. And I woke up this morning, I've been blowing my nose. My sinuses are congested. I can almost see, like I see shadows of my cheeks so I'm swollen. Yeah. My eyes were puffy this morning. It's all up here. It is. Harry 
didn't lose or gain any weight, which is good. He stayed in the 170s, which is good. You know, but I, I think he had I'm a little amazed, too much protein. I'm amazed at how I do a lot of not gain or lose. I do that a lot. Which is good. Your body. And that's because of the, you think that the reason why I didn't go down there is because of the. Protein. The, what's it called? Lean body mass. LDM. I think you still had too much protein. Oh, okay. You went above your 133. Right. That's just for us, you guys. This is just for us. This is an experiment <clears throat> on Wendy and Harry, and we're tracking for Harry. We have no information to base anything on for Harry other than his little board that tells him what he ate, but he doesn't even have sizes or portion measurements or any of those things. So... This is a start, a kickoff for Harry. This is a starting point for Harry. Yeah, I've Harry. tried to always do everything by gut feeling, and it just doesn't and work. And we just can't do that anymore. Well, so I'm finding out. I'm finding yeah. out you have to track if you don't track everything. Which I thought maybe just track a few things, but you have to track it all. To experiment, to find out what works for you. Once you find out, are you allergic to anything? You know, are you sensitive to anything? What works for you? Then you can loosen up the reins. You don't have to be granular. But right now, charts, graphs, granular information, it's a scientific experiment. It's N equals one. We're experimenting on ourselves, okay? So this is what I'm doing today. I'm adding more eggs. Matter of fact, I'm only eating eggs and beef tallow today. All day? All day. I have it all written out. Wow. I have it all figured out because I want to see if eggs are the culprit. You know, I want to see if that's the culprit. And the only way I can do that is take everything out of the equation. So I've been eating beef tallow the whole entire time. I'm just going to have eggs and no beef. And I'm going to lower my protein level. And I'll share all of that with you guys. I'm going to erase the board and I'll show you ahead of time what we're going to eat today. I'm adding Harry's protein. I'm adding eggs and ground beef for Harry. We're not doing steak because Harry and I had a little debate this morning. <laughs> and we came that to it's a called? neutral ground. <laughs> Harry cannot just do eggs. <sighs> it does not fill him up. It does not satisfy him. He goes looking. He goes grazing. He goes looking for food. He just, it does not do a thing for him. Ground beef does. Ground beef satiates him, it fills him up, he doesn't need a ton of it, and it really helps. So, for him, we're doing an egg and ground beef with beef tallow. And I've looked at his macros, and I've done his macros and nutrients. So I'm going to erase this board, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to share with you that. We'll get to the big board in just a second, but we were... Um, prepping for today, Harry and I cooked ground beef. It's sitting here cooling off. I've already got one in there. And um, something Dr. Canberry said on his uh, one of his things is he eats the ground beef tallow. He renders it, and that's what he eats. How many of you guys are throwing away that ground beef juice? Yeah. Raise your hand. It's all of us. Well... I, we rendered it today, we this put morning. it in this jar. Now I'm thinking this is, part of this is water and part of this is fat. Yeah, it we looks like it's it separating, We put it through a little strainer, it? it's separating, because you know they inject water with everything these days. It just drives me crazy. Well, they wash it all, it. it's all washed. With me. So we're gonna see if that water floats to the top because it's thicker than oil. I mean, water is, is I need the fairy to whack me on the head. Oil, in this case, would is weighs heavier than water, so the water would rise to the top in this case. So we are going to see how much of this is tallow and if any of that is juice from the beef and water and remove the juice and the water from the oil. Now, I do have one of those um, gravy boat separators where yeah. the oil floats to the top and you pour part off and if I need to I'll use that but this is an experiment too. Anyway we're gonna do that today but let's share the big board because this is Harry's baby so let's come over to the big yeah, board. Yeah but this has really showed a lot. It has. I mean it's really, it really a, lot, has. a lot more than I expected. 
So, for me... You can kind of see, if you look, she lost pounds. But I had eggs here. Then we started with eggs here. She no. had, no, we started with eggs, eggs over here. And if you notice... Stayed the same. Stayed the same. But I went down. Okay. Then this day, you had two eggs. That's it. And you had... And you went down. Yes. But here I went up. And then wait, wait. Then and my went sinuses up. went crazy because I had seven eggs. I only had two eggs here. I had four eggs here. So we still need to see if it's eggs. Yeah. I had seven eggs here. So today I'm having, I think, eight eggs. We're going to see because I went up and my weight was my amount calorie wise was less calorie wise was less but my protein was high here you guys see that's the only thing you don't yeah. see on this board is all protein. the other stuff so right. this is just basic food right. now is it just allergies or because the the um gardeners came yesterday let's go over here the gardeners came yesterday blew all the dirt up in the air all that good stuff we didn't, we forgot they were coming. Then I went outside and did everything. So there was dirt and dust in the air too. But I want to find out if it's eggs or not. So here's the deal. I'm doing this eggs today. Depending on my weight gain or loss, I may remove eggs out of the equation totally and then do just one day of straight beef and water and then add my um, dairy, which would be the cream, the sour cream. What did I say I was gonna do? Dairy, sour cream, and butter, because those three tend to have the least amount of lactose in them. Right. And see what that does. And have eggs removed from that equation, so I can see, is it the eggs, or is it the dairy, or is it both? That's the only way I can continue to see what works for me. Besides spending a couple hundred dollars and going to an allergist and having them do a test and sensitivity yeah, but that's, test that's and all a, that stuff. That's like a, right. just a shot in the dark, man. Right. I need to see what's causing a histamine reaction. So, I will come back and I will share with everybody what we are going to have today. I'm going to erase this little board that everybody saw. And I'm going to share our menu for today with everybody including the macros. And Harry has sworn that he is not gonna grab any cheese wisps. He's not gonna grab any chocolate. He's not gonna grab a bar. He's not gonna grab any pork skins. We are gonna hunker down today for today only. We're going to do exactly what I put on this board. Everything is gonna be weighed and measured. So I'll come back and I'll share that with everybody. Okay, you guys, I have Harry and my menu for today on what we're going to eat. We're going to go off the menu. Everything's going to be weighed and measured. <clears throat> so. We're going to go off the menu or we're going to stay on the we're menu? We're going to stay on this menu. I'm going to read the menu to, to cook when I cook. So, you guys. Oh, it matches your shirt. I know, but I want to go in a different spot so you don't. No, so that's you don't... fine. Right where you okay. were. Yeah. Okay, so for today. I am going to have three fried eggs for breakfast in a tablespoon of beef tallow. For lunch, I'm going to have three fried eggs in two tablespoons of beef tallow. For dinner, I'm going to have three fried eggs in one tablespoon beef tallow. I'm only going to have two scoops of my collagen, which is unflavored, unsweetened Biotrust collagen. One in the morning, one at night. I'm having it in black coffee with three drops of stevia each. I'm drinking sparkling water. This will give me my caloric count, and I bet you my carbs are going to be more than one because I'm eating a lot of eggs on purpose. It's almost like the egg fast diet. I am having 77% fat for a total of 109 grams of fat. I am having 23% protein for a total of 74 carbs. My total calories are going to be 1,285 calories. This is going to show whether or not my histamines go crazy. And I'm not taking a Benadryl tonight. I want to see if it's the eggs that's causing my weight stall. So let's see what happens on this tomorrow. I'm sticking and adhering to this 100%. Harry 
Harry's menu for today is he's going to have, he does not want to have breakfast. He wants two meals. All right. So he's having two fried eggs. When he breaks his fast, he's going to have two tablespoons of lard. Um, he's going to have five ounces of ground chuck beef. And that's going to be his breakfast meal. Then for his dinner, he's going to have two fried eggs with three tablespoons of lard and five ounces ground chuck. And the chuck is the 8515. He's having two scoops of collagen throughout the day. He's having a bang. He's using stevia and he may have a can of Zevia. In his coffee, he uses the almond coconut milk that he's been drinking and he's gonna have sparkling water. We are not deterring from this. We're not gonna have pork rinds. We're not gonna have chocolate. We're not gonna have ice cream. We're not gonna have anything. No mustard. No Byron's butt rub. Salt. Oh. I'm sorry. You put the eggs on top of your, your hamburger. No and that's salt it. Just salt. Just okay, I was going to say, salt. we got to have salt. Just salt. No pepper. Just salt. Oh. Our seasoning is salt. All right. For today and today only, we can do this. We can do this. So, his carbs, around one gram. His fat is 71% fat for a total of 128.9 grams of fat. Look at this, you guys. His protein is 29%. He's only going to have 117.5. So he's going to have a higher fat, low protein. I'm going to have a high fat, low protein. His total caloric calories are going to be 1,666. Ugh, weird number. This is, this protein is below his... Lean body mass weight of 133. My protein is way under my lean body mass weight of 120. So we are gonna see how this menu goes today. Um, and we'll come back tomorrow. Whoops! That was a magic trick. Yeah, That's the blonde one. I've got butter on my fingers. Yeah, no, I didn't want to put my fingers on the stuff. I don't want to erase it. Okay, you guys, I took this from the Fitbit, and this is what we're going to do. So, I am going to start with my breakfast. I'm going to have three fried eggs and a tablespoon of beef tallow. Ah, you guys, this is going to be interesting. But I'm all about charts and graphs. I'm all about researching and seeing what works for other people. Even the doctors that are keto are looking what works for them. So they're experimenting on themselves as well. And they're reading and got peer reviews and, um, you know, that kind of a thing. So you all have to do for you. Please don't hate on me while I'm doing this because this is important for me for my weight loss journey okay if you can glean information glean valuable information see what works for Harry and I maybe tweak your macros and your foods for you maybe something we're doing will help you do the same kind of a thing with the foods you think are your hidden inflammation culprits and work to get those out of your life so you can finally get down to where you need to. And even if I find out they're eggs, that doesn't mean on occasion I'm gonna not have a chaffle. Yeah, right. We're not gonna have eggs, but I'm gonna know going into it and, and, and plan for it so that I don't freak out if I've gained weight. And you know what, that's so weird because we had the chaffles that one day and I thought we had a, a meatless day. We only had eggs and chaffles, and I thought I was going to lose weight, and I didn't. Right. That's so right. I remember that. That's right. Well, it's I all on the big board. So anyway, you guys, I get three of these babies, and I am going to scramble them because I want every ounce of that tallow for myself. Can you imagine if I didn't know how to make tallow, we'd be spending $11 for epic. Oh, I know. If you couldn't do tallow. it. Tallow. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. It's more than steak. Yeah. There it is. Break fast. I want to make sure I get all that tallow. You know what? I think with tallow, the eggs suck up the tallow. I think so, too. There is just no tallow left, and I think that's the problem with why they're sticking. I think you're right, because when I put a little bit of butter in yours yesterday, yeah. it didn't stick. No. It did not stick at all. 
It's okay. a whole different, I don't even know if it's an oil. Well, I'm saving this pan, even though there's not a lot. I'll clean that off because it won't scrape very well. But anyway, you guys, this is what I'm having. That is my break fast. These are beautiful eggs. And this is what I'm having for breakfast. It's my breakfast. You're on. Okay, you guys, it is lunchtime. It's 1217. Harry is going to break his fast. I am going to eat my lunch. So on the menu today for Harry is two fried eggs and two tablespoons of lard with five ounces of ground chuck, which is the 8515. I've got his chuck measured. We're gonna scramble his, and mine is three fried eggs and two tablespoons of beef tallow. This is mine, my beef tallow is getting hot. Harry's got lard. So see you guys, we have beef tallow that we rendered. This is the beef tallow from the hamburger, and this is the lard from the cupboard. So. With that, let me get Harry's two fried eggs in here. So yeah. Fried, huh? Fried, because you want the tallow. You want all your lard or tallow. Yeah. You want to make sure you've got your fat. You get all that delicious goodness. Look mm, at that. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. And you want to make sure you have that lard as part of the meal. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to get my eggs cooked real quick. Move mine over. Watch, so watch out, that's hot. Three. Careful. Again, I'm scrambling it because I want to keep all that tallow for myself. And we're doing this just to correct our mistakes, making sure that I am not allergic to eggs. And what better way to do it than to just eat eggs? So, see, look at how it absorbs that tallow, Marty. Yeah, it does. It, it I mean, Harry, it, it does. It, it just sucks it right up. That's why the eggs have harder time cooking and tallow, I think. Not at all. Save the fat for later. Okay, you guys. Beef and eggs for Harry. Eggs for me. And this is Harry's breakfast and my lunch, you guys. So we'll season it with um, Redmond's Real Salt and then we'll enjoy. Hey, welcome back everybody. Hey, I'm gonna get ready to cook dinner, but I got really busy at work, but I wanted to say some congratulations for a lot of you all that come and watch me on a regular basis, and maybe for some of you new folks too. Hey, I wanna give Pam a big shout out because you guys, she hit her all time low. She's lost a total of 9.4 pounds on the carnivore challenge. Ooh, way to go, Pam. And I also want to say congratulations to Audrey. She's been doing the carnivore diet and she lost another four pounds this week. Woo! You go, Audrey. Hey, you guys, she is nine weeks into a carnivore and she's lost a total of 39 pounds. Whoa. That is amazing. That is great. You go. That is awesome. I am so I'm happy. Jealous. That you have found something that is working for you. Hey Sheila, I'm so glad they've got the forest fires in Northern California by you in control. We have our my son, daughter-in-law, and all the kids live up there in Redding, and it's been so scary to see all the fire. We grew up in uh, Southern California, and I remember all the fires, but these are the worst ever. And you know what? Being able to lose four pounds during all the stress and everything, that is absolutely awesome, hon. Congratulations. Hey, congratulations to all of you who are finding success 
in your keto journey or your carnivore journey. Thank you all for coming with us on the carnivore challenge. If you feel you want to continue with carnivore, it makes you feel great and wonderful, stick with it. If you want to go back to doing keto, do so. Just remember, add back your food slowly so you don't get stomach problems because you haven't been eating plant foods for a while. Anyway, folks, I am going to make, I wrote our recipe, I wrote our daily menu, and so I've got everything ready to go. I weighed out, Harry, five ounces of bacon. I have got my recipes here. I get three eggs. How one, much bacon? Not bacon. <laughs> I said bacon. <laughs> okay. I'll take the bacon. No, you don't get bacon. Five pounds you of bacon. You get two fried eggs, three tablespoons of lard, which is bacon. Yeah. Bacon flavor. Essence right. of bacon. No, it's really was good Essence on the last of bacon. batch. You oh get my five God. ounces of brown chuck. I get three fried eggs in a tablespoon of beef tallow. Yes, I do. And you guys, we're scrambling the eggs so we get to keep it all. Harry gets, you only get two. Two? Two. That's what I said, two. You get two. Okay. You guys, I put two instead of one. I got to take some of this beef tallow out. Thank God I read my menu. Because I, I don't want more fat than I'm supposed to have. It scared me. So how much you three got in there? Three fried eggs, one teaspoon. So that's three fried eggs, one teaspoon. Oh, wow. What is it? Three fried eggs. That's for you. For me, and one tallow. You get... I get two eggs. You get two fried eggs and three tablespoons of lard and five ounces of ground chuck. I get three fried eggs in one tablespoon. Okay. Boy, it's bright out I'm right by this window. It is blowing. I'm going to have some work to do on this. Mm -mm -mm. It smells like bacon because we used lard for you, remember? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Good. Okay, there's yours. And all the lardy goodness. You get to keep it all. Mm -mm -mm. You guys, beef and egg experiment on Harry. Excuse me, dear. And my eggs are three eggs scrambled. Sally heard the word eggs. Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. Sit down. <laughs> That's delicious. Excuse me, Harry. Gotta wash my finger real quick. It doesn't take long to make an egg like that. No, it doesn't. I just don't want my white, my eggs to be... I like my eggs moist, but I don't want my eggs white parts running. There we go. Let me put this over here. Put it on my plate. Okay, I'll trade your places. Okay, you guys. I used lard for Harry. Tallow for me. And Harry's got beef and eggs. And I've got eggs. And hopefully, this kicks us, hopefully, into high gear. We lose weight. I'm not allergic to eggs. Cross your fingers for me, you guys, please. Please cross your fingers for me. I really want to be eat, to be able to eat eggs. Now, my sinuses got better today, didn't they, Harry? Yeah, they did. I got drier. I did not have, uh, my nose did not run. Now my nose is just because I'm talking about my nose. Anyway, you guys, the amount of calories and everything that I'm eating, I should go down tomorrow. I'm not taking a Benadryl tonight. Let's see what happens tomorrow, everybody.
Hey you guys, I just got a Vitacost order that I ordered and I know what it has in it, but let me share with you. We went to Bash's yesterday. Oh, where'd you put it? It's all gone. Yeah, it's it empty. The container. Where no, is it? No, it's empty. It's in the trash, but it's got the label off of it. So. Oh, okay. Anyway, they were out of Khalifa and it was funny because Vitacost is having a sell on Khalifa. Khalifa almond coconut milk. Um, right now, you get a 50% off, 15 percent off coupon if you type in all Khalifa at the time of checkout. And um, these are the uh, unrefrigerated containers. And I've never done their half and half. They call it better half and half. Oh, so it is no sugar added, better half and half. Coconut cream almond milk. A serving size is two tablespoons and the total carbs are zero. Now my girlfriend Shelly said, Wendy, you've got to try this. The only place she found it was an um, Walmart, but I think hers is refrigerated as well. It may not be. Shelly, leave me a comment below. Is this the one that you get there? Because this is on sale for three dollars and no. $4.14 and you get a 32 fluid ounce container of this. So I got this one. Um, I'm looking to see what it's got. Pretty good, pretty good ingredients. I needed some more better stevia and they had it on sale for a dollar off. So I got two better stevias. And then they had all kinds of, I mean all kinds. Uh, I got two of the better half, which are like half and half, no sugar added. And then you guys, I got the almond milk creamer with coconut, which is unsweetened, dairy free. And this one again is zero carbs. And can you see this ingredients right there? I don't know if you can. Let me give you the ingredients to this one. Same right here. So one's considered a uh, like half and half and the other one's considered like a creamer. We've never tried either one, but for the price and because Harry's market was out and you guys, I got them the next day. So that's what I got. I got the coupon. I got uh, all of this with shipping and handling. Right here, whoops, wait a minute, where's my address, there. So they, I, I got a dollar 44 off of each one. Six dollars, these are usually almost eight dollars on the Better Stevia, so you guys have got a really good deal. Vitacost, I'm not an affiliate with them at all, you guys. I love them. We found them when we were vegan and vegetarian because they carry wholesome, organic, natural products. Um, watch out, Harry. Mm -hmm. like Sprouts and Whole Foods, but they're online and they are all, if you guys put your email address and they send you coupons, they have a promo packet at the top. Anyway, you guys, we'll let you know how this goes. I'm excited about trying these. So, yeah, we'll see what they taste like. Me too, I'm and curious. I'm glad that I got them. We have to finish drinking the almond milk first and then we'll go into these, but I like these because they were no refrigeration needed. So they can go on my pantry. Hey, again, congratulations to everybody. Everybody who is in harm's way with the fire, stay safe. Hope your loved ones are safe. Everybody who had to flee from the hurricane, I hope that your homes and your family and your loved ones are safe. Yeah. Anyway, everybody, I will see everybody, and I will see you tomorrow. If you guys like what you see, remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell, and give me a thumbs up, you guys. My fingers are crossed for tomorrow. I'll see everybody later. Good night, everyone. Ooh, you want salt? Remember salt, salt, salt? Yeah.